grade four math practice test for T and ready. Currently we're on question seven, hopefully on this version anyway. Which expression can be used to correctly find the product of 27 and 30? The first thing we need to do is figure out what the word product means. Well, product is the math word for multiply. Or the math word in English anyway, it's something else in other languages. But we just need to know that we're multiplying those things together. Now, something that you may or may not know about multiplication is that we can break the components apart of, for instance, 27 and multiply it by the components of 30. So really 27 is 20 plus 7. So we could either do this whole thing multiplied by this, or we could also multiply 30 times 20 and 30 times 7. And you can see this if we do the standard algorithm for multiplication. So in this case, the zero just kind of leaves us in nothing, so we'd just put the zero there. But then we would do three times seven, or not this three times seven, but it's really 30 times seven. Sheesh, I almost lost my brain there for a second. So 30 times seven, I'm really doing this number times this, which is really a 30, so that would be 210. And then I would do 30 times this two, which 30 times 2, in this case, uh, this 2 is in the tens place, so it's 20, so 30 times 20, which is, of course, 600. And then I'd end up with or 810, that sort of thing. Just like this. 3 and 2 is 6, 7, 8, 810. So that's the standard algorithm version. But if I wanted to treat this 30, because this is 30 in the 10 spot, so it's 30 times the 7, and then add that to 3 times 2 in the 10 spot, which is 20, so 30 times 20, and then I get 600. So I can do it that way as well. So the answer choice that I'm going to choose is the one that has 20 times 30 and 7 times 30, just like I had here. So my answer for this one is R. Let's look at some of the other answers. 30 times 0 is going to give you 0. 20 times 7 would mean that you've basically eliminated all the value of this 30 and taken it completely out of the problem, but who knows. Um, the 30 is not being multiplied by 2 because the 2 is in the tens place, so that would be a 20, so that's out. And same thing down here, the 2 is not being multiplied by, or the 30 is not being multiplied by 2, it's being multiplied by 20. So you really need to think about how that 27 is represented based on the place value of each one of the two numbers.